Welcome to another season of In The Zone Videos, the educational video series where we take a previous hunt and the video from that hunt and break it down to illustrate and really show the tactics and the situation that we were in to get us close enough to get a shot. Before we jump in though, I wanna take a minute and thank the sponsor for this series, Exo Mountain Gear. I started wearing Exo packs several years ago when they first came out and they're still the most comfortable and purpose designed hunting pack I've ever used. They weigh about four pounds empty and they compress down small enough that I can wear it as a fast and light day pack, but then also have the ability to carry far more weight than anyone needs to pack on their back and do it comfortably. By spanning every need that I have in a hunting pack, day hunting, bivy hunting, and then packing heavy loads of elk meat back to the truck, all with one pack, they're truly the best pack that I've found for my style of hunting. Welcome back to another episode of In The Zone. If you followed along with our Destination Elk video series, you'll probably remember Tyler Crockett and Lenny Nelson. Uh, especially, you might remember this hunt from season four of Destination Elk. Lenny's the shooter and Tyler's doing the calling and they've gotten a midday response from a bull in the bottom of the canyon below them. As they're calling back and forth to that bull, trying to decide whether or not to drop down into the hole, a second bull comes out on the hillside across the canyon from them chasing a cow. Just kind of keeps growling and sitting in the body, glunking like crazy. Yeah. He hasn't really moved, he's still staying over there. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna be maybe moving down a little bit. I gotta let's keep getting down, get on his level. So what do you think it is to his level? Just like put her foot down. I can't tell. I can't tell either. Like every time I drop down, then it's like he's lower. Drop down, he's lower. Now like he's kind of moving away. Let's even get him to answer and then pull back. Let's try to get this one down here. That was him. This second bull is fired up and responsive, but he's locked in on his cow and he's a long way across the canyon. Tyler and Lenny know they're gonna have to cover a lot of ground to get close enough to trip the bull's trigger. So with the midday thermals coming solidly up the hill, as soon as the bull drops over and off the backside of the ridge he's come out on, the guys are ready to make their move. We got one bull bugling way in the bottom and got another bull kind of on the same level. Side hill in there. Yeah. After a day of not hearing any bugles, it's nice to hear them even if they're like really far away. Three miles away. <laughs> yeah. But that bull was rutting hard. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's got at least one hot cow. And I think if we get close, I think he's gonna come. We're kind of doing the old slow play, just let him go, find his bed, get over there, try to get a bed bugle out of him and just work him in his bed and get in his zone. Yep. I think getting close hit him. Yeah, he was, he was super aggressive, but we were just too far away. I uh, couldn't tell where he was, and when we finally got eyes on him, he was further than we thought. Yeah. So, let's go find him. Let's get him. It's so hot, 
so, so hot. It's like 110. <laughs> they have a lot of ground to cover to get over to the ridge the bull's been out on, but with good thermals and the bull most likely bedded down on the north-facing backside of the ridge, they're able to take their time and not be too worried about being seen, heard, or winded. After a couple of hours, they finally make it over to the ridge and slip up to the edge, anxious to see if their predictions were right, hoping the bull's bedded in the thick timber down below them. The bull is right where they expected him to be, a couple hundred yards down off the backside of the ridge in the cooler north-facing timber. Lenny's set up right on the ridge top, and Tyler's 50 or 60 yards behind Lenny and slightly down below him. They're hoping the bull will come up to the ridge and then have to continue over onto Tyler's side of the ridge to be able to get a better look at this new intruder. The setup was perfect, and the bull read the script exactly like they had hoped he would. With the thermals coming up the hill, Lenny was set up above the imaginary line between Tyler and the bull to ensure the bull didn't wind him as he came in. And with a perfect setup and a perfect shot, both shooter and caller got a front row view of the action. Face I can see when he came, I saw the blood spots like, oh, he's hit. So I heard commotion. Uh -huh. I seen the red spot, and I was like, oh, he's hit. And he just stopped. 
Got blood pouring out of his nose. Seriously? Yeah, like right there. <laughs> Face mask. Like, he's right there. <sighs> Freaking awesome. Did you know how cool you were there? No, he, it, he caught us somehow. So um, as he was coming up, I drew when he's behind the tree, and I don't think he saw me draw. But as soon as he walked around the tree, he just went, and he freaking looked right at us. And I had the tree, and I literally had like a window about that big, because he had to walk just barely past the tree, and it was like shoulder blade tree, and I had like that big of a window, and I'm like, he's not gonna keep walking. And so I was like, I just kind of squeezed the next to that tree, and it was like, poof, poof, freaking pinned him. It's like 20, 24 yards. Really? Yeah. That's so freaking When he came, and he came, you could hear him just, doo, 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 really? Doo, doo, doo. Oh, yeah. Nice bull, man. Dude, he's a good bull. Yeah. There are a lot of different effective ways to hunt elk, but there's likely nothing more exciting than using calls to bring a bull into bow range for an exciting in-your-face encounter. Well, there will be challenges and obstacles and failure lurking around every corner. The simple strategy of getting in close on a midday bedded bull and setting up with a two-person shooter collar setup is a proven and efficient way to fill an elk tag.